Good morning, everyone. As House Speaker, it is my official honor and personal privilege to welcome Prime Minister Scott Morrison of Australia to the United States Capitol. Mr. Prime Minister, it is a privilege to meet with you today for the first time, but at a time uh, of this month, our nation celebrates the 70th anniversary of the, of the Australia, New Zealand, United States Security Treaty. Uh, and now, as, as we look to the future, the United States uh, remains committed to continuing uh, strengthening our security partnership. And here to learn more from you about the Australia, UK, US trilateral agreement. Pretty exciting. Uh, I look forward to discussing all of our members. We'll have a bipartisan meeting after we leave here uh, to discuss uh, how we can work together on critical priorities. Of course, climate change, and thank you for your leadership in that regard. The COVID crisis, which is still with us, and we can learn from each other about that. Uh, tackling, again, so many of the things that, uh, in terms of cooperation on security, but also strengthening our relationship in regard to trade and commerce. Uh, so with a lot to discuss, it's a perfect time uh, for us to receive you here. Uh, and we look forward to that discussion, Mr. Prime Minister. Well, thank you very much, Madam Speaker. It is a great privilege to be meeting with you today and, and to be here at Capitol Hill. There are a few places around the world that, that echo democracy and freedom, like Capitol Hill. And the relationship that we have between Australia and the United States is a, a broad and it is a deep one. It is one that stretches across all the arms of government. And the ANZUS Treaty, which we mark the anniversary of, the 70th anniversary, is an agreement not just with the executive government, of course, uh, but with the, with the parliament, with the Congress and the Senate. And we understand that relationship is absolutely critical to the success of our partnership between Australia and the United States. And now, as we go into a, a new period of the relationship under, under AUKUS, uh, on the way up, uh, as we were walking up the stairs, I saw the, the statue of Winston Churchill. <laughs> and talking about freedom and his passion for freedom and between Australia, the United States and the United Kingdom. That is something we share a great passion for, a world order that favours freedom. And that's what our partnership has always been about. So I am looking forward to having the discussions about how we're going to progress that new, new era of our partnership. And uh, the, the House, of course, the Congress and the Senate will play a key role in the ensuring that the responsibilities that we, we are seeking to take on of which your parliament is a steward, and we are seeking to be a steward. And so I'm keen to be able to provide those assurances today as we work together to implement this very fine partnership between the greatest of friends, uh, the securest of relationships, and uh, we will continue to get, work together in the cause of democracy and freedom. Thank you, Mr. Prime Minister. Thank you. Thank you.